hey, if you're like me and Monk here, you've probably been spending a lot of time at home lately, especially if you live in the Seattle area with our social distancing in full effect. Come on, give me that handshake. So I wanted to jump on and answer a random question that we get about asset protection. The question is whether you should put your primary residence, your home that you've been holed up in, inside of your LLC. And the answer is no, you should not. Um, if it's your primary residence and you live there, it's not a business. An LLC is for business assets. So it wouldn't provide a lot of protection if um, there was a lawsuit or some risk to your assets. A judge would just whoosh, slice right through that LLC. Again, because it's not a business. Your home is not a business. The other reason is you don't want to risk losing your benefits that you get, like a mortgage interest deduction, or especially the capital gains exemption when you sell your primary residence. There's a chance that by putting it into a business, calling it a business asset, that um, you could lose those advantages. And you certainly don't want to do that. So if you're thinking about putting your primary residence in an LLC, I recommend you do not do that. If you want to protect it and there's no homestead exemption protecting your property, then think about looking into an asset protection trust because that type of trust could protect your primary residence and you don't risk losing your capital gains exemption when you sell your home. That's it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share this video if you enjoyed it, and have a healthy, safe, social distancing, self-isolation, quarantine time. Good job, Monk. <laughs>